Welcome to Vinyl Dance on Channel 33 RPM. This is where we check out cool music rooms from the cross of vinyl community and around the world. I have to say this is probably one of the coolest Vinyl Dance segments I've done to date. It includes a music room tribute to Eddie Van Halen and a super detailed miniature, miniature music room. You gotta see this one to believe it. All right, this first one comes from Scott in New York. And Scott writes, hey, my name is Scott. I am 48 years old and live in Rockville Center, New York, which is located on Long Island, or as, or as we like to say, Long Island. Like it's one word, not two, LOL. I moved into my home about five years ago and slowly have been building my music room. It's pretty much almost complete. I can see that man looks fantastic. He says, I just need to add the carpet, but you can see I'm not lacking in decor. Absolutely, man. As a matter of fact, I didn't even notice the flooring or, or lack of carpet because there's so much other cool stuff going on here. Uh, Scott says, as you can see in the photos, I'm a, I'm a huge, a huge fan of Van Halen, as am I, man. Eddie, rest in peace. I look forward to Alex's book coming out this fall, though. That'll be pretty awesome. Scott writes, I took the old bar that was in the basement when I moved in and was going to throw it away, but instead decided to repurpose it into a Van Halen tribute. Smart move, man. I love the bar in that. It's that silver cladding or whatever you have along the sides. And of course, the e Eddie Van Halen stripes are the definite are the definite icing on that cake. I dig the EVH stool as well. Scott writes, I've been collecting vinyl for a very, very long time. And what you see in the photos is just about a quarter of it. He says he likes to call his spot Daddy's Dive Bar. That's interesting because in my last Vinyl Den segment, someone else called their basement bar a dive bar as well. Scott says, I like to... Incorporate all things music and nostalgia from the 80s. It's a space where I feel as if I can just unwind at the end of the day and listen to vinyl, play guitar, or just have a drink and watch TV. <laughs> Channel 33 RPM, of course. Awesome. Thank you very much, dude. Uh, he says, my dude. Why did I say dude? Thank you very much, my friend. Uh, Scott writes, my equipment consists of a little old and a little new. His turntable is the Fluence RT85, which was inspired by your channel. Awesome. Thank you. He says, his CD player is a Moran and its cassette deck is, is a Marantz. Both were from the early to mid 90s. His amp is a Marantz PM 5005. Uh, his speakers are Sirwin Vega, all original DX7s. And he says, if you look close enough, you'll see a bottle of Crown Royal at the bar. Awesome, man. Every bar needs a, it's a bottle of uh, Crown Royal. I love the Eddie Van Halen details throughout, including that oversized pillow on the couch. I dig the jam space in the corner. That is freaking awesome. Scott, I can see why. I can definitely see why you like to unwind here. All right, check this one out. This comes from Mark in Chicago. I love the style of this home. I'm not a, an expert on homes, but I've watched enough I've watched enough HGTV that I think you would call this mid-century modern, but I'm not sure. Definitely dig the wood and the vaulted ceiling. Okay, Mark writes, I've been a follower on your YouTube channel now for a while and want to submit my vinyl listening area. I am a 50-year-old IT manager living in the northern suburbs of Chicago. I've been collecting records since I was 10 or so in the early 80s, starting off with stuff like Def Leppard, Rush, Maiden, Judas Priest, Quiet Riot, etc. Mark, sounds like you and I had a similar journey. I'm 50 years old as well, and those are some of my early records. My first record I ever bought was Quiet Riot, so that's very cool. Okay, audio setup. He has a Furman power conditioner that protects your gear from power surges and whatnot. NAD, NAD, 7240PE receiver, an IEMA Bluetooth receiver, a Riga P3 turntable with an Ortofone uh, blue cartridge. Ortofone, we've seen super popular in the vinyl community. It's got a NAD turntable preamp and a Duick Audio VU2 input switcher. Uh, Fosse Audio sells a very similar uh, amp and speaker switcher, which I'm reviewing. I'm not sure if we posted yet when I post this video, but I do have a review of that one coming up. And, and, and Mark has some Polk, uh, Polk Audio speakers. Uh, he writes, I was lucky enough to have an old friend who transitioned from carpenter to furniture fabricator, so I had him make both the Crescenda and floating wall unit. He says, I get lots of comments on the flip bin shelf on the wall unit. One bin is for new purchases or current obsessions. The second is for stuff I need to put away. And the third is to hold 10-inch and odd-sized uh, records. That's cool. I mean, it's all about 
organizing your space your way so you know where everything is. He says, the bottom shelf holds all my box sets, which I'm a total sucker for. Love a good box set. And he writes, I don't know, maybe I'm weird, but I get just as much enjoyment from John Coltrane as I do from Carcass or the B-52s. Man, variety is definitely, is definitely the spice of life. Very cool. All right, this next one comes from someone who only identifies themselves as Swe Skate, SW Skate. He says, I'm a 14-year-old boy living in Sweden with a big interest in hi-fi music and collecting CDs, vinyl, and DVDs, and love your videos. Awesome. Thank you so much, my friend. Uh, he writes, his receiver, uh, CD player is an RCAM solo. His receiver is an XTZ Class A 100D3. It's a cool amp and receiver, man. I've never seen one of those before. I'm not sure if we have those here in Canada. His turntable is an Argon Audio turntable. Again, looks uh, cool. Another brand I'm not familiar with. He has a Cambridge Audio Streamer. And the speakers are QRS Luna. Again, haven't heard of them. That's why I love about getting music room submissions from around the world. You see cool stuff that you wouldn't see in, in your region. So yeah, this is awesome. And then he writes, I don't expect for my setup to be in a video. I'm just happy to share it with you. Well, awesome. Thank you for sharing it. I'm more than happy to put in a video. And super encouraging to see someone who's 14 years old into music and audio and hi-fi to this extent. I think we were all all in safe hands of people like SWE Skate taking the vinyl torch, the music torch, and carrying it on to the future. All right, I, this next one, I've never seen anything like this. You gotta check this out. This comes from Eric. He writes, here's my 1 12th scale music room. A little something off the beaten track, definitely, but so much attention to detail. I was blown away to, to see all this. Eric writes, I live outside Seattle, Washington in Kirkland. Eric writes, I started collecting and putting together the scale model music room from my other hobby, RC model building and collecting. And he says, Etsy is a great place to search and find tons of scale gear, mostly from craftsmen building dollhouse accessories. It's like a treasure hunt in scale form. You wrote, I will send some photos of my music room to you soon if you are interested. I think I missed that part in the original email because I did not see photos of Eric's music room or maybe I was so distracted by the awesomeness of these miniatures I forgot to ask him. But man, isn't this the coolest? <laughs> isn't this the coolest thing? It looks like he has these all stored in sort of a, a glass display case. And the details here are absurdly cool. It's got that um, lounge chair. It's got miniature records from Led Zeppelin, Kiss, Rush, Aerosmith, and others. The small headphones and the martini glass. And I'm sure this part over here with the tipping glass and chair in front of the speakers, I assume that is a tribute to that iconic 80s ad. Anyway, Eric, I'm blown away by this and the effort you put into getting this just right. I've never seen anything like this before. I don't know if I will again, but this rocks, man. Very cool, Eric. Love vinyl? Tell the world with a Channel 33 RPM t-shirt. Check out the Channel 33 RPM store today. All right, let's go across the pond. And this comes from Harvey in England. He says, my name is Harvey Smith, 52 years old. Lives in Birmingham, UK. I think Birmingham is the home of Black Sabbath and Judas Priest, maybe, isn't it? He says, this is what I'm terming phase one of my music room setup. It's a garage conversion. I would have never guessed that this is a garage. Doesn't You've done a good job, Harvey, converting your garage into a listening space. He said, next, during phase two, he will improve improve the space with wall mounted record storage for the 1900 records he owns he says i love hanging out here and i'm so fortunate to have this space separate uh, from the family his equipment includes a riga planner 6 a techniques sl 100c turntable a riga mc phono stage a riga brio amp and monitor audio silver 200 floor standing speakers Harvey also sent some photos of his music room updates, including some additional storage for his records. This is very cool, man. Very cool garage hangout. All right, this comes from a fellow in England as well called Gig. He writes, hello, Frank. Love your channel, so I thought I'd send you my setup. Thank you very much, Gig, for that. I appreciate it. He says, I live in a small flat in England, so I've sent pictures of my 
record slash living slash dining slash slash kitchen room. Talk about a multi-purpose space. It says my setup is a pair of Techniques 1200s, an Omnitronic rotary mixer, a Marantz, and Marantz and Fisher speakers. He says he listens to all kinds of music, but mostly soul funk, jazz punk, and sleazy rock and roll. This is so nicely put together, man. It's clean. It's well thought out. And I got to say, I love snooping through European and English homes because they're so different from what we have here in North America. I mean, for example, here we often would not have a clothes washer in the kitchen, but I see that quite often in uh, in English homes and the appliances on that side of the Atlantic seem to be a lot smaller than what we have here. So this is very cool. Love the space gig. Thanks for sending the, thank you for sending the images over. All right, let's check this out. This comes from Kevin. I dig this man. It's a chill zone with some uh, with some mood lighting. Kevin writes, my wife and I purchased a new home in 2021 and I was excited for it to come with a media room. Of course, who wouldn't? He writes, I love music and gaming, so I made a room for both. I have Klipsch 3.0. He says I, he has a Klipsch 3.2 setup and a basic audio Technica turntable. He says he found the turntable for 10 bucks at a garage sale and he's kept it ever since. He says he enjoys all kinds of music from hip hop to metal and he loves to collect records. He says there are no windows in the game room, so it's a dark ambient or ambient space. Love it, Kevin. Thanks for saying the pics. And Germany, we got Thomas in Germany. He says, hello there from Germany. I started my audiophile journey only three years ago. I am 45 years old. I started small in my office room at home, which was only six square meters. Thomas says that quickly got out of hand. So I decided to move my office and listening room to the basement. For some reason, and I don't know why, I never thought that homes in Germany had basements. So again, I learned something doing these videos at homes in Germany do have basements. He says, I started with an empty room and first took care of the acoustic treatment together with a professional company from Germany. The speakers he writes are from a small German company called Fischer and Fischer, and they are a model S and 170s. Again, new to me, very cool. He says, now check this out. He says, those speakers have unique, have a unique concept of handling vibrations and that they are made out of slate. The speaker cabinets are made out of slate. In this email, Thomas says that results in one speaker weighing 48 kilograms. That is over 100 pounds per speaker. It says the turntable is a UK small brand called Nottingham and Vogue Space Deck. It has a special motor design. The motor pulley assembly is mounted in its own housing. It says he mostly listens to jazz and has a small but carefully picked collection that is stored behind the equipment, behind the blue door. It says that area was formerly a sauna, but is now the record storeroom. Man, I would dig a sauna, but uh, I can see prioritizing it as record storage, and that's exactly what I would do. Very cool. All right, 33ers, let me know what you thought of today's Vinyl Dens in the comments below if you're interested in, in submitting your Vinyl Den. All those details are below the video. Thank you very much for watching. I'll be back again very soon. Until then, keep on spinning.